Hi, and today how to remove a cement fixed crown from an implant. Knocking down restoration is fraught with fracture of the implant body, especially if the crown is fixed with permanent cement. The logical solution is to access the locking screw and unscrew it. First of all, you should make the silicone key, then even with a completely destroyed crown, you can make a temporary from resin. Next, we analyze the radiograph, on which it is important for us to determine the type of connection between the implant and the abutment, and make sure that the fixation is screw and not monolithic, or that the abutment is held by friction. If the abutment is held in the implant by friction force, hammer in, the search for the screw will be a mistake. In this case, the crown can only be removed and the abutment can be used as a stump. There are situations when the abutment and screw are monolithic, and in this case it is necessary to remove the crown and use forceps to remove the teeth or to unscrew the abutment with a suitable holding instrument. Likely for us, most of the system will have a classic abutment and screw. For a better understanding of where and how to drill, you need to make a CBCT. This will give an understanding of the direction of the screw axis and the relative position of the implants connected together. In case of divergence of the implant axis of more than 15-20 degrees, it is worth thinking about segmentation the bridge into parts, but after unscrewing the screws. Before drilling the crown, it is necessary to set the CBCT navigation. The most convenient way is to set the transversal and sagittal planes along the implant axis in the MPR mode and move the occlusal plane to the upper third of the coronal part. Thus, the transversal and sagittal planes will give you the inclination of the bureau relative to the coronal part, and the occlusal plane will indicate the starting point of digging up. The key to the success of the removal of the crown on the implant, and especially of the bridge structure, is the creation of space for complete unscrewing and free removal of the screw. The simplest situation is the disassembly of the implant in which the axis coincides the axis of the crown, and the projection extends to the middle of the occlusal plane. In this case, it is not difficult to provide space for the complete unscrewing of the screw. A more difficult situation is the alignment of the implant axis with the crown axis, but not the central position of the screw projection. In such a situation, trying to save the cusp, it is not always possible to correctly position the entrance hole. As a result, the occlusal surface has to be opened wider, and the hole comes out larger than expected. The most unfavorable situation for the disassembly of cemented crowns on an implant is the misalignment of the axis of the coronal part and the axis of the implant. So in the vestibular oral direction on the upper jaw, the axis of the implant is usually deviated vestibularly, and on the lower jaw lingually. It is important to track the deviation along the sagittal plane, which determines the mesial distal point of drilling initiation. Trying to save vestibular side of the crown, the drilling ender often does not correspond to the axis of the implant, which leads to incomplete unscrewing of the screw, and accordingly it's impossible to remove the structure, even in the case of its mobility, since the screw can prevent removing in case of significant deviation of the axis of the implants relative to each other. In such a situation, it is necessary to divert the drilling to the vestibular surface and drill out an even larger volume of material, which often leads to significant chips of the ceramic. When all the screws are completely unscrewed, it is not difficult to remove the crowns. This fact promoted us to approach the intraoral cementing of the screw fixation from the level of the implant, which we'll discuss in another video. As a rule, with cement fixation type, a gap is found between the abutment and the crown, which indicates the need to pay more attention to the accuracy of the work. Therefore, in our series of videos, we pay great attention to accurate impressions and models. We recommend that you watch them in our application How to Dentist, available for iOS and Android. After removing the crowns, it must be washed and freed of a cement residues, which unfortunately are always exist. Therefore, we strongly discourage cement fixation. Once the tincture has been cleaned, photographs of the implant and abutment interface can be taken to help identify the system and its features. The extracted crowns can be used as a temporary, but be careful when positioning it back, since due to the divergence of the axis of the implants, it is not always possible to immediately find 
and the axis of introduction. Force using is unacceptable. After tightening the screws and closing the shafts with fluoroplastic sealing material, it remains to close the hole, restoring the shape of the crown with a composite, even with severe damage. All successful demolitions until we meet again. Bye.